Good Tuesday morning in Missouri. Today is a weather alert day. Uh, actually, it's going to be quite pleasant through the majority of your Tuesday. We're back in the mid 40s, a little warmer than yesterday, with a better chance of some sunshine, at least in the morning hours. But heading into the afternoon, we're picking up clouds. That's emblematic of the moisture that is returning ahead of our next low pressure system that will eventually bring why, uh, well, the weather that for which we've issued our weather alert day. There, there we go. Uh, we're looking at chances for rain mixing with some snow as soon as, as soon as around 7 to 8 o'clock for folks in the far south. And we'll see that spread to the north overnight tonight. So here we are today. We're warm with south winds. These south winds are kind of a precursor to the precipitation that's moving in from the south. You can kind of see it butting up just against the very southern edge of our viewing area near Warsaw and Camdenton by around late afternoon. Meanwhile, Temperatures for most of us, thanks to that south wind, in the 40s and the mid 40s for us near Columbia and Jefferson City to the low 40s, maybe even upper 30s to the north near Highway 24, Moberly and Macon, Brunswick area. And then as we head throughout the dinner hour, we're going to pick up some showers, especially to the south. Uh, we're looking at California, Jefferson City, Lynn, Osage Beach, the Lake of the Ozarks area, picking up some light to maybe even moderate rainfall at times as temperatures are hanging around in the very upper 30s. Now, as we fall into the mid 30s and eventually low 30s, we're going to see that transition to snow and that transition will happen pretty quickly for a lot of us. Uh, some of us may only see rain for maybe 30 minutes if that and so it's going to be a quick transition as we head into the overnight hours and from midnight through the rest of this event we're looking at some pretty good ac accumulation potential with our heaviest snow coming through midnight to 6 a.m. and then we'll eventually start to see that taper off especially back towards the west. We're keeping chances for snow though um, in pretty good fashion for folks especially to the east through about noon on Wednesday. And notice temperatures are still just hovering around freezing. So this, the temperatures are very borderline with this. That means it's going to be a pretty heavy and wet snow for us. Now, even behind here, we don't see a dramatic drop off temperature wise. We're still sitting around 30. It's not until we get to overnight into early Thursday morning that we drop back into the 20s. And it's at this point, uh, whatever melts Wednesday afternoon, because we'll likely keep temperatures just around, maybe just above freezing. So whatever melts will likely refreeze. And that'll be a concern in and of itself. Uh, as you head out the door Thursday, especially on any areas that haven't been cleared. So maybe an untreated, uncleared parking lot, your sidewalk, it may be worth clearing before that refreeze happens. Now, we're not expecting really any impacts tonight, uh, unless you're going to be out late, late tonight and to the south of places like Highway 50. If you're near the lake, you could have some travel impacts near I-44, Highway 54, uh, late, late tonight. But notice temperatures just falling to near freezing overnight tonight, and that's where they'll hover throughout the morning hours. But as we see snowfall, it's going to start to accumulate by the early morning, and that's where Wednesday will have our best travel impacts. And so this is what we could see, uh, maybe one to four inches in the far north. This is our official forecast. Two to five in places like Sedalia, California, maybe Columbia, on the northern edge of that, uh, somewhere in that two to five inch range. Jefferson City, Lynn, Osage Beach getting closer to that four to seven inch range or more. We could see south of I-44, could see more than that. Uh, this is our worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, we could see up to five inches in places like Brunswick, Moberly, Boonville, four to seven for folks from California to Jefferson City and Versailles. And it's important to remember that this is unlikely. There's a 90% chance that this does not happen. Most of us are going to be, uh, again, in this official forecast range. But just to give you an idea of what could happen, uh, that's worst case scenario from a travel perspective. Conversely, here's the best case scenario uh, on a very low end amount. These are what we could be seeing. And again, a 90% chance that that doesn't happen. So again, uh, the worst case scenario, maybe some folks could see up to eight inches, but it's not very likely. That would be really centered south of I-44. There's only a 15% chance of that happening from Rolla towards Lynn, and it really tapers off to the north of that. So uh, really, we're starting to see pretty high confidence that we're going to be somewhere in that official forecast range. Uh, and even that is going to bring some dangerous travel issues. Take a look towards I-44. That's where uh, our moderate impacts will lie. So if you're if you got to get to St. Louis on Wednesday, especially if you're going to be coming from Rolla, Vienna, uh, that area, the southern half of mid-Missouri, you're going to run into some significant issues likely Wednesday morning. Uh, south of I-44 is looking like the highest impact zone for this entire event with anywhere between 4 to 10 inches possible. So if you got to travel in that direction, it's going to be tricky on Wednesday. So uh, we're looking at rain to snow late tonight, snow on Wednesday morning, and then we're dry, we're cold on Thursday, temperatures only near freezing for highs. Then we're back in the 40s for Friday, potentially upper 40s for Saturday.